Hey guys, how's it going? After the last video, the general feedback has been that you liked the new style but you wanted it to slow down a little bit, so this week hopefully the video will be a little bit slower but still fresh and new. On Monday I went to see the wonderful Rufus Wainwright in Liverpool's Philharmonic Hall and it was fantastic. I've been a fan of Rufus's for many years now so it's great to finally get to see him live in concert. He played a surprising amount of my favourite songs and even came back and did four encores. Yeah, four. Supporting Rufus was an amazing new musician called Rhodes. He has a haunting voice and his guitar skills are impeccable. Take a look at the description below for a link to his Facebook page. In other news, as I mentioned in my last video, I'll be going to see Perfume soon. Well, since making that video, they've announced that they are actually going to be streaming the entire concert from London directly to a theatre in LA. This is really cool and I'm hoping that they use the opportunity of recording the show to put it onto a DVD. For those of you out there like me who are fans of Neo Magazine, you'll know all about the Our Man in Japan section. Well, after the show, I'll be speaking to Danny Robson for his It Came From Japan podcast, so please be sure to listen to it. In other news, I have recently purchased the latest in living room gaming, and Ouya. I've been very interested in the Ouya ever since it first went on Kickstarter and completely surpassed the amount of funding it required. For those of you who don't know, the Ouya is a Rubik's Cube sized Android based video games console. It's primarily aimed at indie developers and let me tell you there are some gems on this. My favourite so far has to be League of Evil. The game just has a really good and comfortable retro feel to it and most importantly it's fun. Another really fun game is a multiplayer called Hidden in Plain Sight. In this game you're on the screen with a whole bunch of NPCs. That's non-playable characters for the last game savvy out there. There are multiple game types within this game but the main concept is that you need to find out who the other player is amongst this crowd of players before they find out who you are. This is surprisingly fun although I usually struggle to find my character in the first place. The Ouya can also be used to emulate your old games which is actually a really good selling point for a lot of people. It's good to be able to play some old retro games with actual hard buttons rather than using the on-screen buttons you have to use on your phone. Right, that's it for me today guys. Please remember to check out the links below and please hit like if you appreciate this video. Thank you very much. Bye bye.